Hey everyone, in today's video we are checking out an update to the legendary Evergoods Civic Panel Loader Backpack. This is the CPL in 24 litres, and in their update they've also released a bigger brother, the CPL 28 litre. In this video we're going to do an entire walkthrough of the features, the materials, and also demonstrate a typical loadout for these bags. I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear and better ways to carry, so if any of that sounds good to you or you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let's jump right in and check out the Evergoods CPL 24 and 28 V2. Now Evergoods is a carry company known for making bags using the highest quality construction, utilizing some of the most heavy duty materials and hardware, and also displaying an incredible attention to detail, thoughtfulness and consideration to their fairly minimalist designs. Apart from the volume capacity, both of these bags are completely identical when it comes to features and material specs. We'll do a little loadout and size comparison later on in the video, but for everything else, we'll be covering it in the CPL. 24 litre. Now in terms of the overall aesthetic, most of it has remained the same. There is the same boxy silhouette as well as a very subtle branding elements. In terms of materials, the bag is made of a 500 denier high tenacity nylon 6.6. The way they design the yarn and the weave yields the highest abrasion resistance as well as heat and chemical resistance and also gives it a dull matte finish which helps with the overall urban aesthetic. There is also a PU coating on the inside of the fabric to increase the water resistance as well as a DWR finish on the face so that water just simply repels off the face of the bag. Evergoods hasn't cheapened out on their interior lining either. It uses the same high tenacity nylon 6.6 as the exterior but just in a 420 denier. It has a great strength to weight ratio and it utilizes a lighter gray color which helps with the overall visibility inside the bag. We also have chunky durable YKK number 10 and number 8 zippers that have been treated with a DWR finish. Let's take a look at some of the features and compartments of the Evergood CPL backpack. We'll start from the features on the outside and then work our way in. So on the front here we have a stitched velcro brand patch here. If you want to stick some patches on there with velcro you can do that. Evergoods also sells separately from the bag some velcro patches that are high visibility velcro patches so you can stick them on if you're cycling at night things like that those are very useful. Now on the right side of the bag we don't have any pockets compartments or any features there but if we turn to the left side of the bag we have a zipper opening for this front compartment that we'll get into later and we've also got a zippered compartment here at the back which serves as our laptop compartment we'll get into that later as well. But here you can see that there is a big chunky hall handle on the side here. There's actually side handles on the perimeter of the bag at the top and then also on this side. And these are really stiff hall handles. There's an aluminium frame inside there. The aluminium stay is a 7075 aluminium alloy. It's lightweight, its strength is comparable to many steels, and it's got a good fatigue strength. And it does have pretty decent corrosion resistance in case it does get wet. A great thing about these hall handles is that when you do pick the bag up from the ground, there is no sag on the bag, it doesn't affect the shape, the overall structural rigidity is well kept, and whether you hold it from the top or from the side, um, you still have that structural rigidity in the bag. And as you can see, in between the hall handles, we have these little accessory loops here. Um, these are just available for you when you want to attach some gear on. So say you've got a carabiner, you're clipping on some climbing shoes or some other additional gear, um, other carabiners, things like that. You can do that. There's one, two, and then three on the very end here. So you have a few attachment points there available for you. Looking at the harness system now, we have a pretty heavy duty harness system, despite the minimal aesthetic. The CPLs use Zoat foam, which is a pure EVA foam and has an extremely even density throughout the entire back panel and shoulder straps. And they also have a long lasting compression resistance. So the foam, the padding will retain its plushness, its density and its comfort for a very long time. Getting to the actual shoulder straps, we have thick, wide cut, contoured and tapered shoulder straps that have this kind of S-curve along the body, so they'll really fit along your chest and shoulders very nicely. Over here we have an adjustable and removable sternum strap. You can see that there are a few points of adjustment here along this webbing track here that you can properly align the sternum strap to where your sternum is on your body. You can see there's a little bit of Bartak stitching with this Evergoods logo, which is a really nice touch there. Very subtle branding there. 
And in terms of the hardware, we have Duraflex hardware. There is no elastic webbing to secure some of that strap slack, so just keep that in mind. When you do use the sternum strap, you will have a little bit of a dangly strap here. For those of you who use your left hand typically to adjust and clasp the sternum strap, you can actually switch the sternum strap around and then you can use your left hand. And for those of you who won't typically use a sternum strap, you can actually just take this off, stow it away in the bag somewhere. And at the very bottom of the shoulder straps, we have pretty standard Duraflex ladder locks here. And then we do have these thumb loops at the end of the strap to help tighten your shoulder strap. Taking a closer look at the side of the back panel here, you can see that there is shaping along the top of the back panel to help contour and conform against your back and your shoulders. Evergoods has worked really hard on the fit and ergonomics of this bag so that it contours best along your shoulders. There's no need for load lifters here. It just simply rounds out against your shoulder and your overall body shape so you can have the best fit when you're carrying the bag. This is a really thoughtful and considered design feature that you don't see on a lot of backpacks. But Evergoods has implemented this little shape, this curving, this patterning along the back panel to really enhance the overall ergonomics of the bag. One thing I wanted to point out before we got into the compartments of the bag is Evergoods' use of weaves in certain areas of the bag, typically with the high abrasion points of the bag. So we're looking at the base of the bag and then this little panel here on the back panel and then also this panel here on the shoulder straps where you'll be laying the bag on its back. Evergoods has implemented what is called a bias cut, which is a different style of weave in the fabric. So in the standard areas of the bag, you've simply got the crisscross weave um, where everything is stitched either horizontally or vertically. But in these certain high abrasion points, they've actually changed the angle of the weave to be more diagonal. And this actually increases the abrasion resistance uh, to the exposed edges, as well as improving the seam strength in certain points of this bag. And this is one of those fine details that gets put into the design of the bag that you won't see in a lot of other bags and from a lot of other bag companies. So taking a look at the compartments of the bag, we've got this front side zippered compartment, which opens up from the side here. There's a little bit of organization inside this compartment uh, to help you organize little pieces of gear. You can see they're using this gray colored fabric to help identify your gear inside this pocket. So on this side, we have a mesh zippered compartment, which is a really heavy duty mesh, mind you. And inside, I've just got my Bellroy note sleeve wallet. You can fit a lot more inside there. And then we've got two other slip pockets inside here. So I've got some hand sanitizer. I've got an Everyman Grafton pen. I've got a Leatherman rebar, and then I've got my EDC kit from Maxpedition. Now again, as I mentioned, you can fit a lot inside this compartment. There are those two slip pockets, and then there's this mesh compartment, but there's also this space overall in this compartment. There is a dedicated volume inside this compartment where you can store a lot of gear. Now the reason why we have these two compartments here, as well as the big haul handle on this side in particular, is that the bag is designed to be used crossbody as well. So you can sling the bag around your chest when you're wearing it on your back, around your chest, and then access gear when you still got the bag on your body instead of putting it down on the ground. So perhaps while you're commuting, you're in transit and you want to quickly grab something out of this compartment, instead of taking it off, you can just simply swing it around and then access it from the side here. Before we get into the main compartment, we'll take a look at this laptop compartment here. This is our laptop compartment and it's a padded and suspended laptop compartment. Now notice you can access it from the side, but the laptop compartment is actually suspended from all sides of the back. So top and bottom and also on the other side, they're all suspended. So whichever way you might drop this bag, your laptop will be protected. That's a really, really good feature in this laptop compartment. Hopefully you can see that there is this Velcro strap here to help you secure down your laptop if you wish. If you don't want to use a Velcro strap like like this, it's a bit too finicky for you and you don't need it, you can simply actually affix it down inside the laptop compartment, that way just getting it out of the way so you don't have to deal with it every single time you access your laptop. That's also a very thoughtful consideration from Evergoods. Now this laptop compartment is a big one in both of the bags, the 24 litre and the 28 litre, it can fit up to a 17 inch laptop or most 17 inch laptops. This is my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. It'll fit in there very easily. And because it's such a small laptop, I might want to just secure that down with the Velcro here. One thing you'll notice about this compartment is that there's still plenty of space here for documents, magazines, things like that. It works really well as a divider. So here I'm just going to put a magazine inside. 
fits in there fine. Now what's great about the Civic Panel Loader is that it can be used as a crossover bag. So you can use it in urban settings and then you can take it out to the outdoors. And so in this compartment where you typically would put a laptop, you can actually take your laptop out and then install a hydration bladder inside. And it's a bit hard to show you, but just underneath here, there's a little loop here that you can hook your hydration bladder. So it's suspended in the bag instead of just dropping to the bottom. So you can hook your hydration bladder to that loop up there. And then with the tube that you have, you can simply feed it through and it actually goes through the shoulder strap here and then comes through here. So there is a little port here in which you can install your hydration tube and then clip it on or strap it on or just have it underneath the sternum strap and there you have access to hydration. You can also install your hydration tube on either of these shoulder straps. They have the porting on both straps. So you have that option to just choose which strap you want it to come through. Another great feature that Evergood has implemented in their update of this bag is the quick access compartment at the top here. Because of the shape and the patterning they've designed in the back panel here for a better fit on your back, there's actually a bit of volume, bit of dimension here that can be utilized for quick access. So here we have a quick access compartment and inside we have a number of different things that we can store for quick access. There is a key leash which you can attach your keys onto like an orbit key. You can simply attach it on there. I've also got my Bluetooth wireless earphones and a moment lens. Getting into the main compartment, we have a big U-shaped zipper path that uses chunky number 10 YKK zippers. And Evergoods has also implemented the use of these counter pulls here. So when you are trying to get into the main compartment with these chunky zippers, you can just simply hold onto this little tab here and then pull your zipper along for better access and control over the zips. And you can also use these counter zips as accessory loops if you want, as well as a bit of security for the main compartment. So you can simply zip it up, feed your zippers through, and then you have a little bit of security for that main compartment. But getting into the main compartment, we have a typical clamshell opening, which is really useful for storing all of your gear, everything that you need to pack inside. So here I've got a simple everyday loadout. Over here we have a little patch that states some of the details and fabric specs of the bag. In this opaque zippered compartment, I have a lacy portable hard drive, um, but you can use this compartment to store more little bits and pieces. I've got a lot of pouches here, so I've got those little pieces inside those pouches. But if you don't have pouches like this, you can utilize these small zippered compartments for like medication, snacks, things like that. Over here, we have a side zippered compartment, which is a heavy duty mesh. As I mentioned, this is a really heavy duty mesh. I really like the fabric here. And inside here, I just have a Manador tote that's packable that I can simply whip out when I need to. And then I also have my MacBook charger. And then I have my Patagonia torrent shell rain jacket. Over here, I've got a Bellroy classic pouch to store all of my tech and all of my cables. I've got a glasses case. I've got a little dop kit that has some emergency medication, tissues, wet wipes, deodorant, things like that. Then I have a little North Face fleece. And then a Hydro Flask 16 ounce bottle. I've got a Roost laptop stand. Over here we've got a little pouch divider here that's made of apparently mountain apparel. So it's got this nice texture to it. It has a little bit of stretch so you can fit different size items inside. But I've just got a notebook as well as a Bluetooth keyboard. Over here we've got some utility loops that Evergoods has implemented here. Um, here you can feed through some pens or some cables, maybe some keychains and you can attach them on like that. Um, but here I've just got another Everyman Grafton pen and then a Lamy Safari pen. Um, if you don't want to use these loops, they're fairly low profile and they can just blend into the bag as well. So that's a nice touch as well. One thing I got to mention is that the base here, the base of the bag does have some further reinforced rigidity and padding to it. So it will protect your gear inside when you do set it on the ground. Um, that's a really nice feature to have, just a little bit of extra protection for all your goods inside the main compartment. I mentioned this earlier, but a great aspect of Evergoods' bags is that each of the pockets have been intentionally designed with its own dedicated volume. So the people who have designed this bag haven't mindlessly just placed pockets wherever they want to. They've actually thought through each and every pocket and made sure that the those pockets have their own dedicated volume. So this pocket on the inside, the mesh compartment, has its own dedicated volume. 
This pocket on the outside has its own dedicated volume and they've been intentionally, intelligently designed to share that space. And this really allows you to utilize every pocket inside this bag because you're not stealing space from anything else. Every pocket can be used. Now, while we're here, we're gonna conduct the Rush Faster beer capacity test to show you just how much you can fit inside this bag. So it looks like it'll quite easily fit four six packs inside the main compartment. So there you go, in the 24 litre backpack, you can fit four six packs. But keep in mind that there's still plenty of volume and dimension in this front area, as well as the back. So they're not really being utilized when you're storing beer. But there you go, four six pack tinnies can fit inside the 24 litre bag. Now I wanna quickly give you a sense of what you can pack inside the 28 litre backpack. We were looking at the 24 litre backpack just then, all the features, all the material specs are exactly the same, except for the volume capacity. And so here you'll get a better sense of what you can put inside the bigger 28 litre bag. Here I packed it out for more of a weekend stay, weekend trip with a bit more stuff inside. So as you can see, I've kept the fleece in there as well as the rain jacket. And here I've upgraded the tech pouch to the Peak Design tech pouch and the Dop Kit to the Peak Design wash pouch. So they're much bigger items. And the water bottle I've changed to a Nalgene 32 ounce water bottle. Just take these out. And here I have an inflatable camera cube from Wandered. So inside I've just got a Canon 6D with a battery grip inside there. You have an extra loop of utility loops here. You've got the same stretchy pouch here. Then inside I've just got a few clothes. So some undies and some t-shirts rolled up here. I've still got the Manador packable tote, my glasses case. And in here I've managed to pack the lacy portable hard drive as well as the MacBook charger in there. So definitely a lot more space, a lot more you can do with this. Um, potentially you can even use this for one bag travel, depending on how light you pack. Now it goes without saying, if the 24 litre can fit four tinny six packs, then the 28 litre definitely can. There's a little bit of space on the side here, as well as at the top of the bag, so you've got space there. And you've also, remember, you've also got dimension on the front face of the bag as well. Plenty that's unused there. This is the bag on me, I'm 5'10". This is the 24 litre backpack. And this is the 28 litre backpack. Well everyone, that is the Evergoods Civic Panel Loader 24 litre and 28 litre V2. Even before the update, it was a star performer as a backpack. But those little choice refinements and tweaks are welcome additions to an iconic bag. This is a backpack that's really well built and it's made of high quality, heavy duty materials and hardware. Its features and organization demonstrate a really carefully considered and thoughtful design process. And it still has that minimalist yet utilitarian aesthetic that we come to know and love and expect from anything Evergoods. Now we've got more bags from Evergoods that we plan on making videos on, but if you're interested in getting either of these bags, the CPL24 or the 28, there's going to be affiliate links in the description below. If you like this video, you found it helpful, and you're thinking about getting this bag, then please let me encourage you to consider using those affiliate links. Clicking those really help us out. And even if you're not thinking about getting either of these bags, but you still wanna support our work, hit the like button, hit the bell. Let us know in the comments what you thought about these bags, especially now that they've been updated and also let us know what else you'd like to see come out of this channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts on that too. As always, subscribe to see more Caragear walkthroughs and if you want to see more videos just like this, check out the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Evergoods Civic Panel Loader 24 and 28 V2. Take care and we'll see you next time.